Hello everyone. Welcome back to VBS the third day. We are doing our VBS with the theme Concrete and Cranes Building on the Love of Jesus. On the first day, we listen to the keyword as love. The point was Jesus choose to love me, I can't earn it. Jesus choose to love me, I can't earn it. The second day, we saw the keyword forgiveness. What was the point? Jesus loves me or forgives me regardless of my sin. Jesus loves me or forgives me regardless of my sin. It is the third day and we are looking the new keyword which is worth. The keyword for today's VBS is worth. The Bible passage we will listen to for the third day is Matthew chapter 26 verses 30 6 to 46. Matthew chapter 26, verses 36 to 46. Matthew chapter 26, verses 36 to 46. Then Jesus went with his disciples to a place called Gethsemane, and he said to them, Sit here while I go over there and pray. He took Peter and the two sons of Zebedee along with him, and he began to be sorrowful and troubled. Then he said to them, My soul is overwhelmed with sorrow to the point of death. Stay here and keep watch with me. Going a little farther, he fell with his face to the ground and prayed, My father, if it is possible, may this cup be taken from me, yet not as I will, but as you will. Then he returned to his disciples and found them sleeping. Couldn't you men keep watch with me for an hour? He asked them. He, uh, he asked Peter. Watch him pray so that you will not fall into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. He went away a second time and prayed, My father, if it is not possible for this cup to be taken away unless I drink it, may your will be done. When he came back, he again found them sleeping because their eyes were heavy. So he left them and went away once more, and prayed the third time, saying the same thing. Then he returned to the disciples and said to them, Are you still sleeping and resting? Look, the hour has come, and the Son of Man is delivered into the hands of sinners. Rise, let us go, here comes my betrayer. Amen. Here is a watch. Can you guess uh, how much uh, this watch costs? Uh, some of you uh, may think uh, this watch costs about $30 or more. Uh, some of you may guess uh, this watch costs about 10 hours or less. However, this watch that you just saw uh, cost about $20. For the price of this watch, it is worth the money. It was manufactured by renowned watch, uh, watch company and I can see the time with it. I can set the alarm. I can use it for the stopwatch, 
I can even check the time and night because it has the function of giving light. Let me give you another question you want to think about. How much do you think human beings cost? In other words, how is or how are human beings worth? Human beings are different from things, objects, items, or goods we can buy with our money. We cannot think human beings can be bought with money or sold with money. Human beings are worth more than money. In the Bible, it says that God so valued human beings so much that He gave His one and only Son to die for their sins and also to save them from their sins. When you look at John chapter 3 verse 16, it says these words, For God so loved the world, that He gave His one and only Son, that whoever believes in Him shall not perish, but have eternal life. John chapter 3, verse 16. The Bible passage you read today is talking about Jesus going to the Garden of Gethsemane and praying there. But before that event happened, uh, Jesus announced to his disciples three times he was going to suffer at the hands of the elders and then he uh, he was going to Jerusalem and they suffered there and then he was going to be crucified, dead, buried but eventually rise from the dead. Whenever he uh, prophesied or spoke beforehand about he is going to Jerusalem, suffering, death, and rising from the dead. He never showed his emotions. The Bible says, but the Bible does not say he was sad or he was sorrowful or he was troubled in his heart. But when Jesus went to the Gethsemane, it was about 9 to 10, 9 to 12 hours before he was going to be crucified. So Jesus at this moment was very sad and became very troubled because he knew what, hap what was going to happen to him was going to be very emotionally broken, uh, uh, emotionally broken. Um, heartbreaking and physically painful and mindfully very agitating, irritating and un unbearing, unbearable. So Jesus uh, took uh, his disciples and he told them to stay at the outer place of Gethsemane and then he told them, uh, sit there and wait for him while he went further inside to pray. He took three of his disciples, Peter, James, and John, and he told them, I am so burdened with sorrow or sadness that to the point of uh, that I am at the point of death. So somehow Jesus now very sorrowful, very saddened in his heart because he knew what was going to happen to him about 9 to 12 hours later. So Jesus told, told them, told the disciples uh, to uh, pray with him and also wait for him until he finishes his prayer so Jesus prayed this prayer to the Father. 
he said uh, he prayed with this prayer my father if it is possible may this cup be taken from me yet not as I will but as you will here you heard the word cup the cup means sorrow or sadness or pain even death but the more severe thing than those uh, than those uh, sadness uh, pain or death was the wrath of God Jesus knew when he was uh, crucified at the cross he would suffer separation or alienation from the father because God was going to pour his wrath upon his son and Jesus was going to experience the real separation from the father because of the sin he took upon himself Jesus was really sorrowful about that Jesus was really troubled about it he was very heartbroken about the wrath of God that was going to be poured upon him and the separation he was going to experience so he prayed that please Lord please father take this cup away from me but not as I will but as your will or you will Jesus prayed that even in his heart even in his human mind Jesus did not want to walk the way of the cross it was the natural uh, emotions for uh, the human beings as the same as Jesus was but Jesus knew there was the only way to save sinners from their sins it was to go to the path of the cross and not only he go there but he would suffer all the sufferings all the pains all the humiliation all the mockery then eventually he was going to be crucified at on the cross and he was eventually dead at the cross so Jesus knew that the way of the cross the way he was going to be crucified at the cross and dead as a sacrifice for sin was the only way God designed or God intended to give salvation to sinners. So Jesus knew the Father's will. Jesus also had this Father's will. So he said, he prayed, Father, I will follow your will. I will submit to this will. I have this will as well. But right now, I am tempted. Father, please help me. Please help me endure this temptation. Please help me overcome it. I will walk the way of the cross. After he prayed this prayer, he went to the disciples. But the disciples were asleep. They were tired. And Jesus said, couldn't you stay just a little while with me? I know you are, you, you are willing to do so, but your flesh is weak. So Jesus went back to the second uh, prayer. Then he prayed the same way. What did he pray? My father, if it is not possible for this cup to be taken away unless I drink it, may your will be done. Jesus prayed the same prayer in the first prayer. He prayed that, Father, I am tempted not to follow the way of the cross. I am tempted not I am tempted to choose another way for the salvation. But I definitely clearly know there is the only way of the salvation. It is through my suffering death on the cross and it is also through my resurrection from the dead. And then you will going to uh, you will give salvation, give forgiveness to the sinners through my bloodshed, through my death for their sins. Jesus once again went back to the disciples. This time again, Jesus was asleep. 
and then he left the disciples he began to pray the third time with the same prayer he did in the first and the second prayer and then after he finished the third prayer he realized that the betrayer uh, Judas Iscariot was approaching him to uh, to uh, lead uh, the crowds sent by the elders and the priests to take him and bring him to the sentence to the judgment seat before the Sanhedrin the Jewish Supreme Court children God so valued you God took you very worth so he chose to send his one and only son and then he made his son as the ultimate as the absolute as the one-time sacrifice to die for your sins and to cleanse away to forgive your sins through his son's blood he was going to shed throughout his suffering and the crucifixion there was no other way than the way of the cross and Jesus walked this way it was God's plan to save sinners through the death uh, through the suffering and death of Jesus Christ and Jesus did Jesus fulfilled the way of the salvation by faithfully walking the way of the cross so guys I want you to think that God really loves you God so values you and then he want no not any one of you not any single one of you will perish by sin without belief without faith in Jesus Christ I highly encourage you the salvation God brought to you was through the sacrifice of Jesus Christ who suffered for you who was crucified in your place and who was dead for your sins but later who was raised from the dead to life for the eternal and new life that was going to be given to you as a gift so guys today's point is Jesus chose to die for me yes because it got so values and then Jesus also walked the way of the cross he also chose to die for you so please remember you are worth Jesus death and then your sins are only forgiven through Jesus sacrifice on the cross Heavenly Father today children listen that your one and only son came to this earth they did not deserve your son's death on their behalf but you somehow very valued them and then you decided to save the sinners including them through the work of your son who died and also rose from the dead we pray that our children realize Jesus chose to die for them to give them salvation and because they were worth Jesus death not in themselves but in the plan of God's salvation in Jesus name we pray amen